welcome you all to principles of organic synthesis presently we study electrophilic aromatic substitution in this topic we have studied so far the principles of electrophilic aromatic substitution and prell crop reactions in this lecture we will study the formulation and the related reactions at uh, this slide shows the catterman coach formulation the reaction involves as you can see here the benzene ring undergoes reaction with the carbon monoxide in the presence of hydrochloric acid and aluminum chloride to give benzaldehyde this reaction usually is carried out under high pressure alternatively you can also use copper chloride as you can see the copper chloride helps to undergo reaction of the carbon monoxide with hydrochloric acid to form the acylium cation once you form the acylium cation which is a electrophile in this reaction which undergoes reaction with the benzene ring as shown and you will be able to have this intermediate carbocation you have this one uh, removal of proton can give a uh, benzaldehyde as a product so the here are some of the examples shown if you can see here the reaction of isopropyl benzene with carbon monoxide in the presence of aluminum chloride hydrochloric acid copper to chloride and given to give this uh, corresponding aldehyde as a product here the reaction of para xylene with carbon monoxide in the presence of hydrochloric acid and aluminum chloride shown to give this uh, all the data as the product so this reaction has some limitations for example if we have a uh, functional group like amino group and phenol and ether and uh, nitro group the reaction doesn't work this because when you have the uh, amino group and hydroxy group they can make chelation with our lewis acid Uh, this similarly we have ether that also can make chelation uh, with lewis acid and the reaction can be slowed similarly if in the case of nitrobenzene and this aromatic ring is electron poor in other words when you have the electron withdrawing group the nuclear stability of the benzene ring is uh, considerably reduced therefore is not sufficient enough to undergo reaction with acylium ion to give this uh, benzaldehyde as a product in summary as you can see here uh, in catterman coach formulation benzene can be converted into benzaldehyde using carbon monoxide in the presence of hydrochloric acid and lewis acid like aluminum chloride uh, in the presence of copper to chloride Uh, with the moderate good yields they have some limitations if uh, substrate like if we have the uh, functional group like amino and ether and uh, hydrox group they don't work and similarly if we have strong electron withdrawing group like nitro group the reaction also is not effective however you can carry out the reaction with uh, alkyl benzenes they can readily undergo formulation to give the corresponding aldehyde as the product just we have seen the catterman coach reaction where you use the combination of carbon monoxide hydrochloric acid and lewis acid for the formulation reaction in place of carbon monoxide you can also use hydrogen cyanide this is known as uh, catterman formulation and here the reaction condition shown instead of uh, hydrogen cyanide since it's a toxic what you can do you can start with zinc cyanide and hydrochloric acid and you can readily do the formulation uh, in example shown here the mescaline can be converted into the corresponding aldehyde in good yield the reaction mechanism shown here in this case the zinc cyanide first undergoes reaction with hydrochloric acid Uh, to give hydrogen cyanide and zinc chloride once you form this one the hydrogen cyanide undergoes further reaction with hydrochloric acid to give this cation intermediate which acts as the electrophile in this reaction 
once you form this one, now this benzene ring is nucleophilic, which can undergo reaction with this uh, cation intermediate, and then you can get this uh, cation. Once you form this one, cleavage of this carbon hydrogen bond. So, you can write like this when you use uh, C L minus. So, you will lose. Uh, so, which can uh, convert into uh, the salt. Once you form the salt, when you do the hydrolysis, it can convert into uh, aldehyde as a product. So, all of you know very well if you have the imine. So, you generate ammonium chloride as byproduct. So, in K in place of carbon monoxide, you can use hydrogen cyanide. In this case, you can see here the, you generate the hydrogen cyanide in the reaction medium, which can uh, react with hydrochloric acid. You form this imenium ion as a product once you form the nitrile ion as a product once you form this one which can now act as electrophile which can undergo reaction with this aromatic system to give you imine intermediate this can convert into the salt imine salt once you form this one which can undergo hydrolysis to give the aldehyde as the product here an, another example shown here and if you compare the Catterman coach reaction and this one where we have seen that you cannot use phenol as a substrate because uh, it can like uh, phenol or aniline they can readily undergo reaction with Lewis acid you do not uh, get the formulation product. Under these conditions you can use the hydroxy compound for example, this orsinol can readily undergo reaction to give this aldehyde as the product. In the presence of uh, this reaction has been as you can see here has been carried out using the combination of zinc cyanide and hydrochloric acid in the presence of aluminum chloride at uh, 0 degree Celsius. The imine salt whichever you generate can be hydrolyzed uh, using water to give uh, this aldehyde as a product. Another example shown here uh, you can see this substrate having two hydroxy group as well as the ester group can also readily undergo formulation using the combination of zinc cyanide and hydrochloric acid in the presence of aluminum chloride to give this uh, aldehyde as the compound. Uh, just we have seen two examples for the formulation reactions. First one involves the combination of carbon monoxide and hydrochloric acid in the presence of Lewis acid. And the second example involves the combination of hydrogen cyanide, hydrochloric acid in the presence of Lewis acid. Now, let us look at here and here also so the reaction oscillation reaction shown in this case and in the place of hydrogen cyanide the astronomical has been used. This also can readily undergo reaction if we have the polyhydric phenols, which can readily undergo reaction with the astronitrile in the presence of zinc chloride hydrochloric acid to give the imine intermediate. Once you have this one, which can readily undergo hydrolysis to give this uh, carbonyl compound. Now, let us see the mechanism. As you can see, the astronitrile makes chelation with the zinc chloride, then this aromatic ring undergoes addition reaction with this uh, nitrile to give this uh, imine uh, intermediate once you form this one which can lose a proton to give to give this imine uh, intermediate once we have this imine
which can undergo hydrolysis to give uh, ketone as the product. So if you uh, compare all these reactions, if you the first one involves the combination of carbon monoxide and hydrochloric acid, the second example the Ketterman reaction involves the hydrogen cyanide uh, with hydrochloric acid and Lewis acid. This Hoist azylation involves the reaction of astronitrile with the polyhydric phenols in the presence of zinc chloride and hydrochloric acid to give this ketone as the product. Here the Hoffin Fischer synthesis is shown uh, where you can see here the aromatic ring can readily undergo a reaction with this uh, trichloroastronitrile the presence of acid it can give the ketone as the product. On the other hand the base it can be converted into uh, the corresponding nitrile as the product. The mechanism of this transformation shown this trichloroastronitrile undergoes uh, the presence of acid can give this uh, salt once you form this salt which can act as a electrophile in, under this condition and this can readily undergo reaction with your aromatic ring to give uh, this cation intermediate. Once you form the carbocation which can lose a proton to give this nitrile and this nitrile can react with hydrochloric acid to give the salt as the intermediate. Now the imine salt uh, depends upon the reaction conditions. If you have base, the base can uh, remove the HCl and the presence of base and you will be able to have this uh, imine uh, intermediate which can further react with the hydroxide under these conditions then you can get the nitrile as the product as shown here. On the other hand if you use acid hydrolysis as we have seen earlier you can convert in this imine into carbonyl group therefore you can make this uh, trichloroastrophenone as the product. So, so, if you compare all these reactions, the previous if you look at Hoge reaction where we have seen the reaction of astronitrile which can be readily reacted in the presence of Lewis acid and HCl to give astrophenone as the product. Here and it is uh, the reaction of uh, trichloroastronitrile shown in the presence of acid as we have seen there you can convert into the corresponding ketone as the product on the other hand the base you can it can undergo uh, elimination to give the benzonitrile as the product. Here are some examples shown and you can see this uh, salt can readily undergo reaction with this uh, polyhydric phenol derivatives as you can see here and it can undergo addition reaction and you will be able to have this imine as the intermediate once you form this one uh, depends upon the reaction conditions you can also try to further react with acid you can convert into the corresponding ketone and this also very useful intermediate you can do further reactions to get useful compounds and similarly this example here the reaction of uh, this uh, 2 methyl thiophene is shown this also can readily undergo reaction with this uh, salt to give this uh, addition product. So far we have seen four examples, the first two example involves the formulation and then uh, the acylation of uh, aromatic systems uh, using nitrile and trichloronitrile we have seen. Um, here the Wilsmeyer formulation shown, uh, if you look at this reaction if you have uh, aromatic system like having dimethyl amino substituent those kind of substrate can readily undergo reaction. Uh, with the dimethyl formamide in the presence of phosphorus oxychloride to give the corresponding aldehyde as the product. In this case the formulation takes place at the para position you can see here the yield is reasonably good. Uh, this reaction also works very well when you have this uh, electron rich aromatic system if you have the electron rich donating group uh, if you have the electron donating group the reaction can be facilitated. Uh, the mechanism of this reaction shown here dimethyl formamide as you can the lone pair undergoes this one then it can undergoes addition reaction with this uh, phosphorus
chloride, you will have this intermediate. Once we have this one, now, so this can undergo addition with this amine, and you will have this intermediate. Once you form this one, now this can lose. And you will be for able to form uh, this uh, amine salt. This is uh, known as a Wilsmeyer reagent. One, this acts as electrophile in this reaction. Once if you have this one, now this aromatic ring can undergo reaction with this uh, salt to give this addition product. Once you form this ammonium ion intermediate, which can now react the Cl minus and to give this intermediate, this can now lose, this can convert into uh, this imenium ion as you can see here. Once you form this one, when you do the hydrolysis with the water and you will be able to form uh, the corresponding oil as the product. So, in the case of Wilsmeyer reaction, if you have electron donating group, the reaction is facilitated. For example, in this case, you have the uh, dimethyl amino substituent, which leads the formulation to give this uh, para substituted aldehyde in a 80 percent yield. However, this reaction is less effective when you have the simple aromatic ring like uh, benzene, naphthalene, they do not undergo reaction. However, if you have the electron uh, donating group and the, if the system is electron rich, it can readily undergo the formulation with the Wilsmeyer reagent that can be readily generated from the phosphorus oxychloride and dimethyl formamide to give the corresponding aluminum salt, which can uh, readily undergo hydrolysis to give the aldehyde as the product. Here are some examples shown. Just I have shown the previous slide. If you have like we have benzene and naphthalene, they don't undergo reaction. However, like andrazine, they can readily undergo reaction to give this aldehyde as a compound. Similarly, intol can undergo reaction at third position. You can introduce uh, the formyl group. And similarly, if you have thiophene, is electron rich, it can undergo reaction. You can get the uh, two thiophene carbaldehyde as a product. And you can also, for example, uh, this ketone also can undergo reaction, then you will be able to get um, this aldehyde as a product. The next example is reimer tiemann formulation. As you can, this if you look at uh, the previous reactions, uh, so we have seen uh, all uh, they usually form the imenium ion as the electrophile which undergoes reaction with the aromatic system to give the addition product which leads to hydrolysis to give the aldehyde as the compound. If you see the previous example which involves uh, imine salt as electrophile which undergoes reaction with the aromatic ring uh, to give the substituted imine as a compound which undergoes hydrolysis to give the aldehyde. But here, if you look at uh, the phenol can be readily reacted with the chloroform in the presence of base to give salicylate as the product. So, this reaction also gives a reasonable amount of four hydroxy benzoyl as the byproduct. The mechanism of this reaction shown here, base can now uh, deprotonate uh, this proton, then you will form this salt. Once you form the salt, now this can lose, convert into, so you will form the carbene. So, this carbene is electrophile, this reaction. So, in the presence of base and uh, this also can deprotonate the acidic proton, you have the phenoxide, which can readily undergo reaction with this carbene, dichlorocarbene, and you will be able to have this intermediate. Once we have this one, this can convert into this compound. Once we have this one, when you react with uh, 
substitution reaction, you will be able to have, when you react with potassium hydroxide, and you will be able to have this intermediate. Once we have this one, this can remove this proton, then comes out, then you will be able to form this 2 hydroxy benzaldehyde. And there is also, just as I have mentioned, there is also significant amount of 4 hydroxy benzaldehyde as a product in this reaction. So, this one of the common method used to make salicylaldehyde. So, if you have the phenol, the phenol can be readily react with the chloroform in the presence of base like uh, potassium hydroxide in uh, to give uh, uh, the corresponding, you can introduce uh, the aldehyde functional group at the ortho position and in this way you can make formal salicylaldehyde in moderate yields. Here some examples are shown. So, if you have this uh, dihydroxy compound, you can try to react with uh, THP in the presence of acid, you can protect one of the OH group. So, now you can try to uh, selectively react with this hydroxy group. So, you can try to introduce the aldehyde functionality to the ortho position. In this way, you can make this compound. And similarly, you can also for example, another here this amino acid, the formulation of this amino acid shown here using chloroform and sodium hydroxide, you can try to introduce the aldehyde functional group at the ortho position. So, this in this way you can try to selectively react uh, chloroform in the presence of base and you can convert into the corresponding carbene. Once you have the trichlorocarbon, you can uh, react with the phenol derivatives at the ortho position and which can be converted into the corresponding aldehyde as the product. The next reaction is Goldsmith reaction. This so far we have seen the examples, the first two examples the Gatterman coach and Gatterman reactions and Bills Mayer and the other reactions usually used for the Raymond Diamond reaction we use for generally to make aldehyde as the product. And this example involves the reaction of phenol with the carbon dioxide in the presence of sodium hydroxide to give the carboxylic acid the product. The previous reaction, if you look at it, uh, the Raymond Diamond reaction, where we have seen the reaction of phenol with the chloroform in the presence of base, and where you generate the carbon, dichlorocarbon as the reactive species which acts as electrophile which undergoes reaction, you can uh, readily convert phenol into salicylaldehyde. On the other hand, here you can look at in the place of chloroform use carbon dioxide which can uh, readily undergo reaction to give the salicylic acid as the product. Uh, this reaction has been carried out under heating. Uh, the mechanism of this transformation shown here. So, in the presence of base as just we have seen you form the phenoxide salt. Once we have the salt which can readily undergo uh, reaction with this carbon dioxide as shown here, uh, you have this uh, addition product. Once you form this one cleavage of this uh, carbon hydrogen bond can lose proton then you can get this carboxylate. Once we have this one, when you do the acid workup, you will be able to get the corresponding carboxylic acid the product. So, in this way, if you have phenol, you can make salicylic acid using carbon dioxide in the presence of base. After acid workup, you can get the salicylic acid as the product. Here an example shown, the reaction of this dihydroxy compound shown, and this can be readily reacted with the carbon dioxide in the presence of potassium bicarbonate to give this carboxylic acid as a compound. Similarly, here the reaction of the phenol derivatives with the carbon dioxide in the presence of potassium carbonate shown and you can introduce a carboxylic acid functional group at the this ortho position to give this salicylic acid derivative. And here an example shown and as just we have seen 
Since this proton is acidic enough, in the presence of base, you can deprotonate, you can form the phenoxide, which can readily undergo a reaction with the carbon dioxide. In the presence of acid workup, you will be able to get the salicylic acid. Once we have this one, this, in the presence of catalytic amount of acid, can readily undergo a reaction with acidic anhydride. You can make the aspirin as a product. As you can see here, which we often use for uh, to treat pain uh, as well as fever. So, aspirin usually can be made from salicylic acid with the acidic anhydride in the presence of catalytic amount of acid to give good yield. Here, the manic reaction shown. As you can see here, and in this uh, example, the reaction of uh, indole with the formaldehyde and uh, dimethylamine is shown here in the presence of acid, it can give this you can try to introduce alkyl amine substituent and the mechanism of this reaction shown in this reaction first the aldehyde undergoes reaction with the amine you form the imenium ion as a product which acts as electrophile once you form this imenium ion which undergoes reaction with this aromatic ring this as you can see here the third position then you will be able to have this addition product. Once you have this addition product that cleavage of this carbon hydrogen bond can give this derivative. You can see here this is a very important example and indole in this way you can introduce the uh, alkyl amine substituent through electrophilic aromatic substitution. The another example the reaction of Pyrrole is shown which can readily undergo reaction with the formaldehyde and dimethylamine to give this derivative. In this also the aldehyde first undergoes reaction with aldehyde you form the imine salt. Once you form the imine salt which acts as electrophile as shown this can undergo reaction with the pyrrole and you can get this compound. Similarly, this uh, 2 methyl Furan can readily undergo reaction with this uh, imenium salt that can be generated with this dimethylamine and aldehyde to give this uh, substituted compound as a product. This slide shows uh, the reaction of electron rich aromatic system with, with the hexamethylene tetramine. In the presence of acid to give aldehyde. For example, in this case, a mixture of uh, aldehydes can be obtained, and when you look at the ratio, the aldehyde that is formed with ortho position is always major comparing to that uh, that is generated from the para position. If you remember, already we have studied the formation of hexamethylene tetramine. If you have formaldehyde, which can readily undergo condensation with ammonia. If you take 6 molecule of formaldehyde and 4 molecule of ammonia, so they can undergo condensation reaction to give this hexamethylene tetramine. Already we have seen the formation of this compound. So, in this reaction, when you have electron donating group like uh, OH or amino group, and this subst now readily can undergo reaction with hexamethylene tetramine in the presence of acid to give aldehyde which is uh, one of the practical synthetic route. If you want to make for example, salicyl aldehyde we can try to use this method and in this reaction also the imenium ion acts as a electrophile. Now, let me show the mechanism of this transformation which is known as tough reaction. First. hexamethylene tetramine undergoes reaction with acid. For example, if you take acetic acid, the protonation of this nitrogen can give
this ammonium ion intermediate once you form this one this lone pair can push this it can open up this carbon nitrogen bond to give an imine as intermediate So once you form this imenium ion, which can act as the electrophile, which can undergo a reaction with, uh, for example, if you take phenol as substrate, which can undergo addition reaction with this uh, imenium ion, when you react with, so when you protonate, you will be able to generate this, this acetate ion can deprotonate this one, then it can undergo addition reaction and you will be able to form So this uh, intermediate, once you form this one, this can convert into phenol derivative. So once you form this one now, then you again can react with acid. So protonation of uh, this secondary amine can you form this salt. Once you form this one, so now this nitrogen lone pair can push this one, it can open up, you will be able to form. NH2, here you will be able to form imenium ion. This intermediate, once you form this one, now this can come here and then you will be able to form So this will be methyl group, you have here this one, then you are generating an imenium ion. So once you form this one, now this can undergo a reaction with, since you carry out the reaction aqueous acid, so this can act as a nucleophile, can undergo addition with this uh, imenium ion. You form this intermediate, once you put the proton transfer, can lead to the formation of
you form this intermediate this once you form this one now can cleave this one to produce aldehyde plus So if you look at here, this is a crucial step. The hexamethylene tetramine in the presence of acid, an aqueous acid, it can undergo reaction to produce the imenium ion. Once if we form the imenium ion, which can act as an electrophile, which can undergo addition reaction with this aromatic ring to give imenium ions product. Once we form this one, which can readily undergo hydrolysis as we have seen in the previous examples to give aldehyde as the product. This is one of the common reaction we use often to make salicyl aldehyde. For example, if you have phenol, you can make salicyl aldehyde in good yield and uh, in the presence of aqueous acetic acid. Uh, this is commercially available. You can try to react in a heat and you will be able to get the salicyl aldehyde as a major compound. Now let us look at some of the recent literature examples in this uh, reaction. The first one if you look at uh, here, this substituted phenol can be readily reacted with the hexamethyl tetramine in the presence of acetic acid and uh, sulfuric acid to give this aldehyde as a product. This is one of the important aldehyde if you look at this aldehyde which is widely used to make saline ligand. Two equivalent of this aldehyde can readily undergo condensation with the diamine. For example, if you take cyclohexane diamine, when you mix them and uh, uh, stir it in alcohol solvent, you will be able to form. This is a saline ligand. Once you form this one, when you react with uh, uh, metals like manganese acetate and cobalt acetate, so they can undergo complex formation when you uh, take this ligand and react with manganese acetate and air, it will be converted into For example, it will be oxidized and rare, you will form the manganese 3 saline complex, uh, which is uh, first reported by Jacobson for the asymmetric epoxidation. For example, if you have tyrene and the presence of oxidizing agent like uh, hydrozobenzene or sodium hypochlorite, you can try to oxidize. And so this is uh, used as a chiral ligand for the oxidation of uh, uh, alkenes. And this uh, has been widely used around 1990. So this aldehyde is popular one, is also commercially available. This aldehyde can be easily made from this 
substituted phenol using hexamethylene tetramine and under these conditions and once this aldehyde is widely used. I have shown one example here for the preparation of magnesaline complex which is also used now for the preparation of cobalt saline and other uh, chromium saline complex which have been used for a variety of reactions. For example, chromium saline complex has been used for the diels reaction. So, this is very popular aldehyde. This is usually made using uh, the hexamethylene tetramine in good yield. The another example shown here, the, when you look at this compound, the polycyclic compound and here also under the using this uh, combination of hexamethylene tetramine, trifluoroacetic acid you can try to introduce aldehyde group uh, in, uh, in both the carbon atoms. In this case, uh, in this substrate, a mixture of both aldehydes have been observed. Now, let us look at this example. Now, you have blocked this to ortho position and the para position is uh, vacant when you react with hexamethylene tetramine in the presence of aqueous sulfuric acid, you can try to introduce uh, aldehyde group here. So, this is one of the practical method often we use if you want to make uh, solicyl aldehyde and uh, or if you want to introduce uh, aldehyde functional group in the aromatic ring, you can try to use hexamethylene tetramine, the, which is also very easy to make just as I mentioned, if you have formaldehyde, ammonia, if you react then you will be able to form this. This also commercially available, you can buy once if you uh, react with this electron rich aromatic system in the presence of aqueous acid, you will be able to introduce the aldehyde functional group. Now, let us look at uh, another example, the reaction of aryl magnesium halide or aryl lithium is shown, you can try to react with the uh, dimethyl formamide, this way you will be able to introduce aldehyde functional group here. Uh, so, already we have seen the K when we studied the organolithium reagents, so this also common method if you want to introduce aldehyde functional group, if you have for example, bromobenzene. So, you can uh, react with uh, magnesium you can make or you can try to react with the lithium. For example, n-beta lithium, so halogen metal exchange and then you will be able to form or you can also try to react with metal. Anyway, once you make the phenyl lithium reagent, this can be readily now reacted with the dimethyl formamide, you will be able to introduce. And if you look at the reaction pathway, already we have seen when we studied the organolithium reagents. Let us take this one. Once if you have the phenyl lithium, if you have the dimethyl formamide, so, which can undergo addition reaction, then you will be able to form this intermediate. Once you have this one, when you do the workup, then you will be able to transform this into. So, once you form this one, it can leave, then you will be able to get the aldehyde. So, now here an example shown, for example, if you have this aryl halide, uh, you can try to react with the dimethyl formamide in the presence of first what happens here, the n-beta lithium reacts with this aryl halide by halogen metal exchange, you will be able to make the corresponding lithium reagent once you form this one as just we have seen it can undergo addition reaction with this uh, dimethyl formamide you will be able to have this addition product so when you do the work up then you will be able to get the aldehyde as the product Professor Cummins made some uh, modification this reaction. Once you first you react with uh, for example, you have the phenyl lithium react with the dimethyl formamide, you will be able to have this intermediate without doing workup. If you add another equivalent of uh, butyl lithium, 
As if you remember, uh, in the case of phenylithium, we have seen the nitrogen can make chelation and you can introduce uh, the ortholithiation. You can, similar way, you can make uh, here, introduce, uh, you can introduce lithium in the ortho position. Once we have this one, now you can try to react with the electrophile as we have seen. Then following that, when you do the workup, in this way, uh, you can get this aldehyde uh, which contains substitution of the ortho position. Here another example shown and in this case as just we have seen, you can try to react with the NBD lithium, you can make the corresponding So when you react with one equivalent of lithium, n beta lithium, you can make this one then as just we have seen when you react with uh, dimethyl formamide. So it can undergo addition reaction. So, which in the presence of aqueous workup, so when you carry out the workup, this will be converted into this aldehyde. So, this also one of the uh, common method we use uh, to make aldehyde. For example, if we have the anisole. you can try to react with the n beta lithium. So, you can convert into this. So, when you add uh, DMF, you will have So, when you do the acid workup, and you will be able to get the corresponding aldehyde. So far whatever we have seen all are intermolecular reaction. Now let us look at this amide. When you have this amide which can undergo intramolecular cyclization the presence of a phosphorus pentoxide or POCl3 to give this isoquinoline derivative. This is also an example for electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. For example, when you take this amide and when you react with POCl3 or phosphorus pentoxide, it undergoes reaction to give this isoquinoline derivative. So, when you look at the reaction pathway, For example, if you take the phosphorus pentoxide, So, once you have this intermediate, it can act as the electrophile. Now, this can undergo addition reaction.
have this intermediate once we have this one this can lose proton since we have the PO3 uh, minus it can remove this proton we will be able to have Once you form this one, then lone pair can push this one, then you will be able to you will have this intermediate, this can lose this proton to give this derivative once we have this one now this also can react the phosphorus peroxide or PvCl3 for example let us take this one and when you have this you have this intermediate once we have this one this can now remove this proton then you will be able to get the isoquinoline derivative So, in this way you will be able to form uh, the isoquinoline. Suppose if you have this amide which is bonded with this uh, aromatic system, you can try to cyclize intramolecularly in the presence of phosphorus pentoxide and POCl3. Similar way you can try to draw the mechanism. So, you can get this isoquinoline derivative. In summary, in this class uh, we have seen the formulation reactions. First, we have seen the Caterman coach formulation where we have seen the use of carbon monoxide in the presence of hydrochloric acid and aluminum chloride where you have the acelium cation as the electrophile which undergoes addition followed by elimination reaction in this way you can convert into aromatic system into the corresponding aldehyde. Then we have seen the caternmin formulation here the difference instead of in the place of carbon monoxide here we use a hessian and where you form the nitrilium cation which undergoes uh, addition reaction to give the imine derivative when you do the hydrolysis you will be able to get uh, the aromatic aldehyde. Then we have seen the Hoyes acylation where in the place of hessian they have used uh, astronitrile hydrochloric acid or lewis acid you can uh, try to introduce the aldehyde functional group here it depends upon the reaction conditions uh, suppose if you use uh, acidic condition you will get the aldehyde on the other hand if you use the basic condition it can undergo elimination to give the nitrile as the product then we have seen the wilsmeyer formulation where as just we have seen and the dimethyl formamide undergoes reaction with the POCl3 and you are going to make uh, Bilsmeyer reagent which is an imenium cation which acts as electrophile which can undergo addition reaction when you do the workup you will be able to get the uh, aromatic aldehyde. Then we have seen the Reimer Tiemann formulation. In this reaction if you have the phenol in the presence of base and it can react with the chloroform to give uh, salicylate for example uh, as a major compound. First the base reacts with the chloroform to give the dichlorocarbene as the electrophile which undergoes reaction the phenoxide that you generate phenol 
and then you when you do the work up you will be able to get salicylaldehyde which is a also important uh, precursor to construct variety of compounds. For example, uh, when we often use to make uh, ship based with amine, we use as a ligand to make inorganic complexes for the catalysis. Then we have seen the Goldsmith carboxylation in place of suppose if you take the phenol and base and carbon dioxide, you will be able to get sal salicylic acid as a product. This is precursor for the aspirin synthesis we have seen if when you have this one when you react with acetic anhydride in the presence of catalytic acid you can make the aspirin as the product. Then we have seen the manic reaction here uh, the formaldehyde undergoes reaction with the amine to make the imenium ion which acts as electrophile which can readily undergo reaction with the aromatic system in this way you will be able to make alkyl amine you can try to introduce alkyl amine uh, functional group in the aromatic ring. Then we have seen the tough reaction where if you have uh, electron rich system like phenol which can readily undergo reaction with hexamethylene tetramine which is uh, produced from formaldehyde and ammonia. Uh, in the presence of uh, aqueous acid you can try to make salicylaldehyde if you take phenol uh, where also imenium ion acts as a electrophile. Then we have seen this Bovialt reaction where if you have the aryl lithium for example phenyl lithium which can readily undergo reaction with the dimethyl formamide uh, to give the addition product. Once you have this one when you do the aqueous workup it can convert into aldehyde. Then we have seen the pectate camps isoquinoline synthesis if you have amide which can undergo uh, intramolecularly cyclization to give the isoquinoline as a product. So, if you look at these are the some of the common uh, reactions often we use to make uh, aldehydes and the derivatives for example, these are the reactions often used in the laboratory to prepare the aldehydes and milder reaction conditions in, uh, in gram scale synthesis. With this we conclude this lecture, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.